on a lonely island of poverty in the midst of a vast ocean of material prosperity. 100 years later, that Negro languishes in the corners of American society only to find that he's in exile in his own land. So we've come here today to traumatize a shameful condition. I'm not unmindful that some of you have come fresh from narrow jail cells. Some of you have come from areas where your quest for freedom have left you battered by the storms of persecution and battered by the winds of police brutality. So continue to work, knowing that under his suffering is redemptive. So I say to you today, my friends, that even though we must face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that down on the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and sons of former slave owners shall sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that even the state of Mississippi a state sweltering in the heat of oppression, sweltering in the heat of prosecution, will one day be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that down in Alabama, with his vicious racist, with his governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification, that right there in Alabama, Little black boys and little black girls can join hands with little white boys and little white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream that one day my four little children would not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. And if America is to become a great nation, this must become true. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty of the I see, land where my fathers died, land where the pilgrims cried, from every mountainside let freedom ring. So let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heights and Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from every hill and every molehill of Mississippi. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when we allow freedom to ring, that will speed up the day with all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Catholics and Protestants, will join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we're free at last. Um...